Ich will nicht sprechen. Sie haben Doc Freya in Englisch gesprochen, so let's have it again, shall we, as we did before on tape. This, would you like to listen to your tape, Brother? I'll play it for you. Listen. We're still waiting, Bremer. Who is it? <laughs> Who is it, Bremer? Get him back on a chair. I could, of course, leave you to Mr. Gould, but he's still learning the job. He does get carried away. Then again, drugs are worse, Bremer. Very upsetting, very upsetting and infallible, so it's only a question of time. Why waste time? Look at this, Bremer. You can't read with your eyes shut, Bremer. Look at it. Names. Now. We'll have to take him to the head shrinker. Come on, Bremer. Oh. Damn you, people. I've told you again and again to keep this sort of thing out of my office. What's the matter with Bremer? He's dead, sir. That's all we needed, isn't it, Mears? Now we're really... I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Sorry? What the hell's the use of that? Oh, for God's sake, leave him alone, man. This means we're fighting for our lives. You realize that? This isn't just careless school. It's completely irresponsible. Now we have absolutely no means of finding out who's behind all this. I'm at fault, sir. Emergency. Plan D. Plan D, sir? Yes, sir. Notify all personnel immediately. Field work discontinued. All right, get him out of here. <laughs> Oh, no, mother. Not now. Oh. Me, Jenny! Oh, hurry! Why do you always take so long opening the door? What's the matter? You're a very bizarre invalid. Yeah. But quite nice. Mm, you're not so <laughs> bad yourself. Good. All right, so you're getting better. But you should remember that having a sister move still tends to drain the oh. energy. Not now. Not now. He's never. I've got a lesson. I've got a pain. Precisely. Still. Oh, David, I'm sorry. That's all right. It's all right. Yeah. You know, you are supposed to take care of the wounded, not give him complexes. You're not a giraffe, you know. You're not all neck. All you need is rest. Yeah. Anyway, out you go. Huh? Out. I'm finished. Out. Got soap all over your face. <laughs> Anyway, I bought something. So, while you pour some of your abominable cooking sherry, or whatever it is, I shall prepare to stun you. Don't you ever work? Yeah. Never tell me what, then. That's right. Why? To bore. Just a parcel. What? A parcel. One parcel. Callum. Charlie here. Oh, hello, sir. Are you resting? <laughs> Not much. Then come over here. Oh, hell. I want you here immediately. Oh, come off it, sir. Look, you've got enough old lags over there. You call one of them in. I mean, I'm supposed to be still on sick leave, remember? Make sure you're not followed. I usually do. Then make double sure. What, something going to happen to me? I need you here now, Callum. That's an order. Emergency D. Ready? Yeah, all right. You better be. Was it? Uh, oh, that's, uh, that's my old auntie. She's 95, you know. And she's a bit of a bug. Well? Oh, you're, you're, you're doing it on purpose. What? You're making the blood run again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, Jenny, darling, I, mm -hmm. I've got to go out. Oh, but you shouldn't. Yeah, I know. It's my auntie. My auntie, you see? If I, if I don't go, she'll leave her money to somebody else. Hello, what's this, then? Canoeing. My other hobby. Everybody in the section cross covers everybody else. That's all seen to. Nobody comes here. All contacts will be through this and only then for reports or in emergency. All other jobs are off for the meantime. Remember, they've got tabs on the lot of us. They can strike at any time. Hence the cross cover. The essence is speed, not panic. You'll be staying here, sir. 
If they choose to bomb this place, they must know by now that only I'll be in it, not the trackers. You cover Callum. Yes, sir. For what it's worth, you soak yourself in him. When he runs, you run. When he blows his nose, you count the decibels. And his girl, sir? What girl? One of the nurses from the Manda Clinic, sir. Watch her, too. And for your sake, hope they stay together. Get round there now. And you watch Gould. Yes, sir. Get me the alien's office. I want all the A518s for the past six months. That's urgent. Very good, sir. Auntie, sir. Okay. Oh, I guess a bit awkward sometimes. Oh, for you. I'm sure all this makes nonsense. I just haven't read enough. Do you get time for anything in that clinic? <laughs> Big men with sore necks, yes. Otherwise, no. <laughs> They didn't seem all that full up to me. Ah, Dr. Walker would say that's sufficiency. Clutter nurse law, there is dirt. Dirt is disease. Disease is antisocial. What is antisocial must be removed, unquote. <laughs> mm. Mm. Be a right one in the National Health Service. Why didn't I see him? Oh, you did. He popped in to see you after the operation, but you were asleep. So you saw me instead. <laughs> I don't like people seeing me when I can't see them. Anyway, I promised I wouldn't mention my work after I'd left. He was sorry to see me go. Why did he let you? Because I wanted to. Yeah, yeah, he must have been sorry. I wanted to be with you. Turn right. But this isn't the way, Dave. Yeah, turn right, now. There you are. That was well planned, wasn't it? But this isn't the way. No, it's a shortcut. Listen, what, uh, what number is your tutor? Oh, um, 74. Go on, you need the exercise. For you? Yeah, I'll be fine. Be seeing you. All right, Lally, go on. There's a grey car behind it. Loser. Yes? Oh, Professor Goodman. Dr. Goodman, yes. I'm sorry, Doctor. Um, I'm Jenny Lawther. Professor Mancini said I'd been transferred to you for tutorials. Lawther. Look, of course, the nurse. Ex-nurse. Do sit down, my dear. Thank you. You must forgive the mess. My life's one long battle with the forces of disorder. Oh, dear. Of which I'm the chief culprit. These books must go back, but somehow one never has the time. I'm rather like the old woman in the shoe, you'll find. I've got so many books, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Tawny. The more I study the trade union movement, the more obvious it seems to me there's only one choice open to it. It must either become a direct political force or give up. What do you think? Oh, I don't know. I don't know much about trade unions. My father was a shop steward, but he really didn't know much about it either. <laughs> you wouldn't be alone in that. In the rank and file? Well, my dear, I see you're clutching some thoughts for the week. What are they? Oh, yes, I've been given an essay. Ah. Mm. Europe's place in a worldwide balance of power. Wow. Wow. I think we'd better start at the bottom, not at the top. Don't you agree? Please. Let's have coffee and leave power to the powerful for now. <laughs> Charlie? I'm through here, sir. I'm afraid I've lost Callan, sir. I've checked at his place, but he isn't there. He wouldn't be. He's coming here. But if I'm supposed to be covering him, sir, why should he slip me? He doesn't know. Besides, Callan can smell a tail at half a mile. I told you to cover him, not ride on his back. What about the girl? Well, I couldn't stay with both of them, sir, so I followed Callan and... Where was Mia's last report from? University Senate House, sir. Ah. And the A518s have arrived, sir. Oh, good. Bring him in. Um, Dr. Walker on the telephone for you, sir. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> 
Walker. Hunter. Uh, this girl, Lorda, Jenny Lorda, why do you let her go? Manda Clinic happens to be a private nursing home as well, Hunter. In my line of work, I regard non-dedication as a liability. Wasn't she any good? Mm, extremely good. She had the best qualifications. She was very good theater nurse, but she was losing interest. Why? Apart from finding your friend Callan interesting. I really can't find her. Well, oh, Callan's unimportant. She's been vetted? Of course. I'm surprised you should find it necessary to ask such a question. She ever been abroad? Mm, I think so. Uh, yes, yes, to Switzerland last summer. It's all in her file. Uh, thank you, Doctor. I'd like to go through my records. Really, I can't imagine why you should be so anxious. But if you think it's all that important, I could come round. That's out of the question. Oh, of course. I'm surprised you should find it necessary to make such a suggestion. <laughs> Touche. Thank you, Doctor. Any sign of Callum? No, sir. No, for Mr. Gold, sir. Hey. Hey. Come on, Shaddy. All right. Here we are. <sighs> Listen, is this your friend of yours? Oh, yeah, yeah, he worries about me. Put your hand Get your hand off. I'm just going to say, I've never seen you sweat before. You're trying to be funny, mate. No. Listen, I'm... compared to you, I give off eau de cologne. Here you are. Here's, um, here's a quid for the petrol. Yeah, but are you sure you'll be all right? Yeah, I'll be all right, I'll be all right. I mean, if he... No, I'll be all right, man, now get out, will you? All your friends leave a lot to be desired. God, that man reeks. I didn't notice any change. You do look ill. Must be the company I'm keeping. All right, leave him alone. Well, he is one of ours, old boy. He's what? Simon Gould. Born the only son of a certain Colonel and Mrs. Andrew Gould, farmer, Buckingham Bucks. Well, what's the gag? Oh, no gag, old boy. Here's your cover. My cover? Oh, by the way, I watched your phoning technique. Very impressive, I thought, for a sick man. I'm his cover. Help yourself to a drink, won't you? Pass the flannel over. Come on. But so what's the panic? I mean, why should I need a cover? Well, there's an agent. His orders apparently are to eliminate every man in the section. To an even sirs given up sleep. Blimey. Oh, don't worry, David, old boy. They're kind to cripples. All right, cut it out. Who's after us? That's just the trouble, old son. We don't know. How old are you, Jenny? Twenty-six. And why did you give up nursing? I lost interest. Do you usually uh, just give up if you lose interest? Yes. The jump from highly qualified nursing to history seems, if you don't mind my saying so, unusual. Um, I don't see why. Well, eventually I want to teach. I liked history at school, so choosing it as a subject seems very obvious to me. Well, anyway, the country's crying out for teachers. Ah, oh, so your choice of history has a political motive. <laughs> no, one lot's as bad as the other as far as I'm concerned. You're an interesting girl. Did someone influence you in your decision to change? No. Um, I'm no. sorry. But if we're to get on together, and I'm sure we will, then we need to know just a few facts about each other. Does that seem unreasonable? No. Good. But the moment you think my questions are an invasion of your privacy, you must tell me and I'll shut up. Well, let's leave it at that. But if things get a bit difficult, I'm always here. You've no need to knock on that door. You can walk straight in. All right? Yes, thank you. Now, let's have a look at Europe, the sick man of the world. Yes? Callan is here, sir. Oh, good. Send him in. Seen him before, the one on the left? No, sir. Bremer. 
He's dead. He died where you are now. Ex SS, Sturmbannfuhrer. The high spot in his life was supplying Martin Bormann with a truck and civvies. Then he disappeared to Algeria, turned up again in Angola, then in Lisbon with the dear old gentleman you see there, Enrique Ovidos, who was as near to the head of OFF as we can get. And what, sir? Organisation für Freiheit, Callum. They make the fascists look like outside lefts. What makes them nasty is they cream off ex-colonial and ex-Nazi intelligence staff, the dedicated boyos. They're sort of freelance Mensa mercenaries. But they don't blow up pillar boxes, they blow up national security sections. They're all bright, ruthless and right round the bend. And who pays them? Anyone who wants them. Bremer was picked up in Aden off a flight from Cairo. The Arabs? All we got out of Bremer was that they know this section. We've been seen using the building. They've appointed their executioner. He's in London somewhere. Oh, blimey, if they can pick out the section, Means it must be an inside job. Everyone's been checked and double-checked. Well, we haven't got a monkey's in, have we? We think there's only one operator, and he can't kill a lot of us if we're dispersed. The section of orders to keep away as much as possible, hence the cross-cover, hence the telephone calls. You watch Mears. Uh, what contacts have you made the last few weeks? Oh, I don't know. I mean, dozens. Sit down, Callum. Sir? You have made a new contact in the last six weeks, haven't you? Well, you mean, uh, Jenny Law, though, yeah, but I mean... No, 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 it couldn't be her. She's a student now, I gather. Intellectuals can be dangerous, Callan, and certainly vulnerable. Yeah, but, sir, I mean, she didn't make the first move. I, I did. Did you? Oh, my God, I feel sick. We share it. I must get these books back. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> oh, this cab really does smell. Mm. Oh, look, you dropped... No, I'll manage. Junk one carries around, even old lipstick tubes. Thinking of opening a shop. One comes prepared for every contingency. Well, you'd have approved of my own boss. He loved efficiency. I'm sure he was more successful than I am. Sorry I was a bit abrupt, my dear, but well, the truth is I keep my sleeping pills in that old lipstick tube. I'm supposed to be canoeing at six. Canoeing? Oh, yes, I love it. I go every evening. Oh, well, we'll drop you off first. Oh, thank you. My business can wait that long. Driver? Uh, not to the Senate. Where exactly, my dear? Oh, 31 Duke William Street, Bayswater. It's my boyfriend's. No, 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 no. no a bit lower. Just... Oh, yes. So is right. Oh, you sadist. That better? I think I can just about move my eyes. Can you move them enough to see this? Vaguely. I'll drink it. Mm. Hello. Hello. You know why I'm stiff's got nothing to do with paddling. It's sitting outside on those blasted steps waiting for you to come home. You shouldn't even be going out, David. Where on earth were you? I was working. The mysterious night prowler, Mr. Jekyll. Well, you, you could have gone back to your place. But I didn't. Why didn't you? Because you won't come to me. Don't you trust me? How do you mean? With a key. I won't peep in drawers. Why should you want to? All right. You don't trust me. I don't know you. I don't know you, but I love you. That's a very big word. Oh, what do I have to do to prove it, David? Empty your handbag. <laughs> All right. Turn it out on there. You do it yourself. There are no secrets. Don't make me feel dirty, Jenny. Oh, look it. What's in the locket here? Mum's? Eric, my brother. 
He was killed in Korea with the Gloucesters. Is, um, is that why you left the clinic? You couldn't stand seeing the dead? Yes. Many dead at the clinic? I don't know. All I know is from time to time we had a series of emergency ops to do. Usually gun wounds or acid. Dr. Walker did all he could. Who's the girl in the photograph? Well, that was Sheila, my best friend. She died in Zurich last year. How'd she die? Food poisoning. Dr. Walker did, did all... all he could, yeah. Flew over specially. Look, what do you want me to do? Tear it up? Will it prove no, anything? No, darling, no, no, no. I wish I understood. Yeah, well, perhaps it's... I mean, just don't bother to try. Look, David, I'm not blind and I'm not stupid. I knew Manda was a security clinic. Anybody who went there was either a victim or some kind of agent. Like Sheila. Like you. And that's just why I can't trust you, isn't it? Oh, David. I'm tired. I want to go to bed. Jenny, just, just don't say anything. Yes? Uh, put him on. Charlie? Oh, the girl, sir. Nurse order. Do I stay with her now? Callan is on me. What's she doing? When she isn't with Callan, she goes boating. She goes to lectures at the university. Oh, and she attends tutorials at 74 Tennyson Street. Who's the tutor? I'm afraid I don't know that, sir. Well, find out. Yes, but do I leave Callan, sir? Callan can look after himself. All right, Landley, put it on higher. Why is this operator being so slow? No doubt he's making sure, Alta. Yeah. Nobody been done yet? No. So one of us fails to phone in, you can't really tell, can you? Brilliant. Where's Gould? He's trailing your lady, love. We are supposed to be covering him, aren't you? What are you doing here? He's only just round the corner, waiting outside her tutors. Listen, Jenny's at a lecture. She's not due at her tutors till four. We'd better check with them. Yes, right here, Lonely. I'll have a word with him. There's Gould. Yeah, we well, don't have a word with him in here, will you? Your manners never improve. What is your technique? This will do, Lenny. Be seeing you. You won't. But I'll be right behind you. Yes, I know this isn't the time to ring, but... Uh, of course, please forgive me. That is exactly my opinion. I thought you should know someone called Goo. I guessed it was pretty obvious. Yes. And there's Callan, of course. Just a moment. What's happened to the reports? All reports are here, sir. Shall I put them on your desk? Well, all except for me as a Mr. Goo, sir. What about Callum? No, sir. Well, if Callum's reporting, what the hell are the others doing? Give me Mia's private number. Yes, of course, sir. She said what? She mentioned your name on the phone. Did you tell her about me? No. What'd she say? I don't remember exactly. But look how It's important. She... I want to know what she said, every single word. She said something about Gould from intelligence, and then there's Callum, of course. Darling, are you in trouble? Who's Gould? Why? Oh, for heaven's sake! Listen, darling, 
What's going on? Behind those big blue eyes of yours. I mean, who are you trying to kid? You're hurting me! And you still don't trust me? Will you take me home now, please, David? What? I want to. When are you going to see Dr. Goodman again? Tomorrow. I'm so confused. I just... I just feel like throwing the whole thing out. Come on, Anne. Take me home. Charlie? Oh, it's Gould here, sir. Where have you been, Gould? With me, sir. He saw me home. Then why are you out? Well, I'm sorry, sir, but I forgot to phone in earlier. Do you know how much it costs to train one of you people, Gould? Is this the best you can do? Well, I... I meant my boss. Get this call traced. Yes? Mayor's reporting, sir. That other one traced yet? No, sir. All right, put him on. Charlie? Yes, Where the blazes were you three minutes ago? Uh, just you really want to know, sir. All right, what have you got? A normal report, sir. Gould stuck up safely in bed. Is he? Hell, he could be dead. Well. I've left over his place, sir. He went out again. Well, it's hardly my fault, sir. I suppose not. Where's the nearest call box to his place? Um, Elgin Street, sir. Look around the Well, get round there now and stop the uniforms getting at him. Take Forrest to his cover. Fast. Get me Callum. Why didn't you stay yesterday? Oh, I thought you were busy and I didn't know. Uh, well, I was only popping in to say I couldn't stay. There was a special lecture. Oh, yes. Interesting? Yes. Um, look, I'm sorry I burst in on your failing like that. I didn't mean... If one permits freedom, one must accept the abuses that go with it. Abuses? Oh, figure of speech, my dear. Do sit down. Oh, thank you. You are out of breath. Yes, I've been running. And oh, my lesson's so devouring that you don't wish to waste a second of them. I didn't want to be late. Oh, well, that's good. I may seem odd and disorganised, Jenny, but I admire punctuality. It's a national fault, perhaps. National? Yes. I'm related to the House of Shernick. And you're the daughter of a trade union official. But we needn't waste time holding our respective backgrounds against each other. The coffee's on. I'll make some. I've been reading your curriculum vitae. I notice you have no family. No. Was your brother's death justified? No. No war is justified. You wouldn't agree with Aquinas that there is such a thing as a holy war. We're speaking objectively, you understand. In the struggle of ideas, some ideas are better than others. So... Do ideas interest you? As long as people don't suffer. One can't have war without death. Then why have war? For the sake of ideas. Some people believe in a superior ideology, even a cultural elite. Do you? I'm a don. Not a politician or philosopher, my dear. But as you said yourself in your essay, it is insufficient man that corrupts ideas, not ideas men. History is full of unfulfilled ideas. Even Mussolini in his letters. We shall have to read him together sometime. You believe, then? That some deaths are necessary? In special circumstances, yes. Black or white? A white, please. Well, now, I'm afraid it's my turn to upset timetables. I shall have to ask you to go. Oh, when you've finished your coffee, of course. It's no great rush. It's only that I have a rather important, though totally unexpected, assignment. It's quite all right. It's my fault anyway. Shall I phone you tomorrow? You can always try. Look, Mr. Cullen, how long do I have to keep this taxi? It worries me. What the law stops me? You're scared, aren't you, Lambert? Yes. Yeah, yeah. How much? Well, I thought 25. 25. I thought you'd yeah. think that. Oh. Nice round sum, isn't it? Yes. Here you are, mate. Here's five. Yeah, but... Uh, here, do I stay in a wagon here? No, I've got a telephone call to make. Go on, you can beat it. Right, see ya.
Gould's dead. Gas pellets in a closed atmosphere. 11 o'clock last night. Oh, poor bastard. He'd contacted two people so far, your nurse and her tutor. Where's your nurse now? Now, look, I tell you, sir, she's clear. I mean, I've checked her out. Then she's nowhere where she can be harmed, I hope. I'm Dr. Goodman. May I? Yeah. I'm afraid I've got some awful news for you. Well, what is it? Jenny. Jenny Lawther. She was a friend of yours. Look, I know you don't want me round there, but there's something I want to talk to you about. You remember what you said about Jenny Lawther? Yes, yes, I know. But something has turned up in her records. Will you? I'd be most grateful. That's the shark. Dr. Paula Goodman, on a genuine 518, I suppose, sir. She's here on an exchange lectureship from the University of Strasbourg. Six months, French passport. Experts on German history who can lecture on the Second World War at a premium. How long has she been here, sir? Five months, one to go, no chance of a renewal. Well, she must be getting pretty desperate. Why not pull her in, sir? There's someone over here behind her, Mears. She'd no more soften up than Bremer did, and he only told us what he had to tell us to get us worried. No, I want her cover. Any ideas? Well, Callan's already in touch, sir. He could, he could push Goodman to draw the cover. Go with him, Mears. Yes, sir. If you need me, I'll be at the clinic with Walker. I thought you were staying here, sir. I would send you, Mears, but I think it's more important you should support Callan. Oh, by the way, Nurse Lord is dead. Goodman, sir? Does Callan know, sir? I doubt it. You can tell him. Lucky you are, mate. I'm not in the mood to miss. You wouldn't have had the time outside. All right, now you're here. What do you want? We want Dr. Paula Goodman. What? Hmm. Sir also wants her cover. She's, uh... International property, apparently. And the killer. Your nurse. How do we know that? Somebody doped her. She went canoeing, fell asleep and drowned. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. So it's Dr. Goodman. She came round here to tell me. Accidental drowning, she said. All innocence. I mean, I, I made arrangements to go around and see her now. I'm going to cry on her shoulder. She thinks I'm depressed. Uh, Hunter wants me to go with you. Oh, no, you don't, mate. Oh, no, I'm going around there alone. 
Anyway, no point in the two of us going around. We'd never get anywhere near her. Now, you go and take care of Hunter. You go and take your knitting. He's gone to see Walker. Who's, co who's covering him? Ferguson. Come on, that's a laugh. <laughs> well, it's, uh, Sir's choice. Yeah, well, you go and look after Sir. I'll go and take care of Dr. Goodman. It's all clear, sir. We'll stay here for a moment. Right, you cover me from behind. Well, you told me to come round. The door was open. I came in. Of course. Do you sit on committees, Mr. Callan? No, I don't. I spent the whole evening arguing against the value of medieval studies. Being a visiting lecturer, one's opinions, I'm afraid, count for little where policy is concerned. Yeah, what, what are your opinions, Doctor? Well, the 20th century, surely the most vital part of history, is the one that we're in the process of Living. Well, I just live. The fact that you're alive makes you a part of history. Yeah, there's not much point in living, though, really, is there? If your girl's dead. Coffee. Yes, thank you. How can I help you? Well, I'd, I've just been round at the police station. I'm afraid I haven't had the time. That, they seem to think it was foul play. Do they? Yeah. Yeah, they seem to think that... Well, it's somebody who didn't want her to leave the clinic. Well, why? Well, they reckon that whoever knocked her off thought perhaps she was learning too much about what was going on there. And what was that? Oh, I don't know. Mind you, she did tell me quite a lot. Excuse me. Yes, of course. Four, two, six, five? Oh, have you? Only two left, then? No, I can't. I've got someone here with me. A friend? 
No, you'll have to bring the books round. Could you? No, of course it's not too late. I'd like you to meet him. He's rather special. All right. Anna, now you can't stop me from coming. Why, Jenny? Well, that's what I want to know. I can understand Gould. He knew what the risks were. Why, Jenny? Jenny was a toy, a doll. A doll with an ear for private phone calls. No intelligence, no brain, nothing to match that obscene English exterior. Just a reporting doll. To be wound up and taught to walk back to... Who? That worries you, doesn't it? Which side was she on? Was she one of us, but expendable? Or was she... You bitch! It doesn't matter now, darling, does it? She's dead! You'll never know how galling. How's your cover? We work alone. The person who's bringing the books around, is it? You make one move, just one move towards those, and I'll be happy to kill you. All right. Now we just sit and we wait for your visitor. Either you're very courageous or very stupid. Do you want to die? He'll kill you, you know. Who's he? You're very nervous, aren't you? Aren't we all? I don't want to die. That's funny. Neither did Jenny. I want you facing towards that kitchen and I don't want you to move. Dr. Walker, I presume. Pleased to meet you. Oh, it's her. Get the lady's coat. We're leaving. She only wanted to look pretty. She was defenceless. Oh, no, mate, she wasn't. Jenny Lawther was there, wasn't she? Well, eh? What are you doing here, Toby? I thought you were supposed to be looking after Hunter. Hunter is dead. And Ferguson. Then there was Gould. That's three of ours, isn't it? one of yours. You know, mate, I really think we ought to even up the average. <laughs> 